Right now, as you watch this, there's something out there that could swallow our entire solar system in seconds, and we're about to visit it. But first, we need to survive the journey there. We are now heading to Gaia BH1b, the closest black hole to Earth. Ten times the mass of our sun, compressed into a point smaller than a city. It's invisible, silent, hunting, and it's feeding on a companion star right now, ripping it apart atom by atom. But here's what terrifies scientists. We only discovered it in 2022, which means there could be dozens more hiding in the darkness between stars, and we'd never know until it's too late. We're going closer. Heading now to Cygnus X1. The first black hole ever confirmed to exist. Stephen Hawking bet against its existence. He lost. This beast is 21 times more massive than our sun, spinning at over 800 rotations per second. That's faster than a bullet. And it's generating winds so powerful they're blasting through space at 621 miles, 1,000 kilometers per second. What about its companion star? Well, that's not a star anymore. That's a victim. The black hole is literally drinking it, pulling streams of superheated matter across millions of miles of space. The X-rays it's releasing? If you were anywhere near this thing, they'd cook you at the molecular level before gravity even touched you. But we're not stopping here. We're going deeper. We are now heading to GS 2023 plus 338, a cosmic mystery. This is GS 2023 plus 338, and it just woke up. For years, this black hole sat dormant in the darkness. Then, without warning, it erupted. An outburst so violent that astronomers detected it from across the galaxy. This is what happens when a black hole decides it's hungry. Nine solar masses of pure gravitational fury, and we're watching it feed in real time. The disk of matter around it is glowing at millions of degrees. That's hotter than the core of any star. But here's the disturbing part. We don't know why it turned on. We don't know when it will happen again, and we don't know if there are others out there, waiting. The universe just reminded us that these things don't sleep forever. Well, this is different. Grow J1655-40 isn't just sitting in space, it's moving. This black hole is traveling through the galaxy at 112 kilometers per second. That's 250,000 miles per hour, Someone fired this thing like a bullet through the cosmos. Seven solar masses. But here's what makes it legendary. This black hole is shooting jets. Beams of matter and energy, blasting out at 92% the speed of light. These jets stretch for light years. If one pointed at Earth, it would sterilize our entire planet in seconds. Scientists think a supernova kicked this monster into motion. Imagine that. An explosion so violent it threw a black hole across the galaxy like a stone. And it's still out there, moving, feeding. But what we've seen so far? These are babies. Now we go to the monster in our own backyard. This is Sagittarius A star, four million times the mass of our sun. And it's our black hole. Right now at the heart of the Milky Way, this supermassive beast is holding together hundreds of billions of stars, including ours. We're orbiting it. We've always been orbiting it. Every single human who ever lived circled this thing without knowing. Its nearby stars are moving at 1.5% the speed of light. One of them, S2, completes an orbit in just 16 years. Imagine, a star the size of our sun, whipping around like a planet. But Sagittarius A star is sleeping 
It's barely eating. If it woke up, if it started feeding like it used to, the radiation would light up our entire galaxy. We'd see it in our daytime sky. We got lucky. But across the universe, there's one that's fully awake, and we have a picture of it. We will now head to M87, the photograph nightmare. On April 10th, 2019, humanity saw the face of a black hole for the first time. This is it, M87 central black hole. Look at it, really look at it. That's not an illustration. What you are seeing on the screen now is a real photograph. The ring of fire you're seeing is matter being destroyed at the edge of oblivion, heated to billions of degrees before it vanishes forever. Six and a half billion times the mass of our sun, the event horizon is so large that our entire solar system would fit inside it 38 times over. Pluto's orbit, that's nothing. Neptune, a speck. And see that jet shooting out? That's a beam of plasma extending 5,000 light years into space. That's longer than the distance from Earth to the edge of our local galactic neighborhood. This black hole is so massive that the laws of physics bend around it. Time moves slower near it. Light curves, space itself warps into a funnel. This beast is enormous and colossal. We will now head to the heart of the Sombrero Galaxy, one of the most iconic galaxies we know so far. This is the beautiful, amazing, gorgeous Sombrero Galaxy. Now, let's head to its core, the monster. This is the Sombrero Galaxy's central black hole, the hidden Titan. The Sombrero Galaxy, beautiful, peaceful, a cosmic hat floating in the void, but at its heart, one billion solar masses of darkness. This is one of the most massive black holes we've ever found, and for years we couldn't explain it. The galaxy isn't big enough to have created something this monstrous. The physics doesn't add up. Current theory? This black hole ate another black hole, maybe multiple a cosmic cannibal that grew fat on its siblings. And here's what keeps astronomers up at night. It's still there, still growing, still waiting. But nothing we've seen compares to what's next. We are now heading to Gargantua, the impossible dream from Interstellar. This is Gargantua, 100 million solar masses, spinning at 99.8% of the maximum possible speed. And it doesn't exist, but it could. The scientists behind Interstellar didn't make this up. They calculated it. They ran the equations. They simulated what would happen if a black hole this extreme was real. The result? Time dilation so severe that one hour near it equals seven years anywhere else. You could watch civilizations rise and fall in a single afternoon. 
The disc around it, heated so intensely by friction that it glows brighter than a billion suns. And those gravitational waves? They'd shake the fabric of reality itself. This is the edge of what physics allows, the maximum monster the universe could create. And somewhere, out there, in a galaxy we haven't discovered yet, one might already exist. Thank you for watching, and if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel so we can make more videos for you.